everyone, welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me. I promise I'm going to fix the lighting. I think what I need to do is just like close these curtains over and just do the light behind me. But um, if you want to see how I got this look, what I used to get this look, make sure you keep watching. Um, I did film an intro at the beginning, but I'm going to cut it and use this one instead because at the beginning I look crazy. So if you want to see what I look like without the makeup in two seconds, but make sure you comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Yeah, currently I'm looking like I need some sleep. I am looking a bit, ugh. So let's get into this. So um, I'm going to use a couple of new products. One is the 17 Glow is Everything um, CC Cream. So I'm going to use that just now. My hands are like, I just put moisturiser on before starting this video. So um, my hands are a bit squirmy. Oh, it's like slippy. Um, this is in 003P and it looks like that. Let's see how this looks on my face. I mean, it's fine. Like it feels, I would say, more foundationy than, I mean, it's quite thick. Not majorly thick, but it's definitely not like a super thin formula but it gives like enough I feel like coverage and it's fine color wise I mean it looks fine in person color wise it looks okay here color wise probably a bit if anything a bit orange on camera but actually not that bad when I've got it on I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place concealer in this shade 20 looks like this it's like a giant um foot applicator and I do have like some breakouts so I'm gonna also just put this over them because I don't really want to do another layer of that CC cream because I kind of just want to see how everything goes together um, without basically I don't normally use a sponge but I wanted to see what a sponge would be like with this concealer because I have used this concealer before like with a brush so interesting to see what it looks like with a sponge I need to go over this like with a brush at the end just to make sure that I don't have any like lines or anything because I'm quite new to this. How do you get like inside your eye? Like in there? Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna grab this Real Techniques buffing brush. I feel like I like using the sponge. Um for that concealer, I just need to get used to it. You know, it's just something I've never done before. So, but that concealer, like, as you can see, is definitely giving me a bit more coverage, which is what I kind of needed. My eyes are looking quite red today, like around here, and I don't really know why. So I'm also gonna not really do a ton because I don't want anything that's going to hurt that. So I'm going to grab my number seven airbrush away. It's the basically the exact same as the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Powder. Um, so I use both kind of interchangeably. Okay, we're back to vlogging. Um, we had a couple of weeks where we were just really busy. And then I had some issues, like I was off work for a week. Um, just to do with like back stuff and um, so like I'm not if I can't be at work like I can't vlog, <laughs> you know. Um, it's kind of the way I look at it because I don't know. I just feel like that's the case. If I'm too ill to be at work, I'm too ill to be, or if I'm in a situation depends on the situation as I'm sure. But I just decided it's a better thing to do that. So I'm gonna use the. Number seven zero two zero. It's a 
glue and define bronzer. And my hair is going all sorts of crazy because it needs cut, but also like I have all these bits that are like little baby fringes. But I'm not doing anything with them because I'm trying to let them like grow. But obviously that's gonna take some time. And as I said, I'm really just shoving a bit of makeup on because I feel like it. And then I'm going to put on this number seven. It's the powder blush edit. It's the cheap colour. Now, I have it in this kind of berry shade. It's called, what's it called? Copper tone. Interesting. This one is called Desert Pink. So I'm just going to use that. Much more of like a neutral kind of peachy pink. Tell you what, face makeup, as much as I like it and I do it, doesn't do it for me. Eyes are when it all comes together for me, seriously, like brows and eyes. When it all comes together and I'm like, oh, this is the makeup that I love. This is why I like makeup, you know? Sorry, I'm going to try and keep that mirror kind of out of the way, but I need it to get ready. <laughs> um, I'm using the Ellie Ghetto. It's not the Shady Slim. It is the... Brow Bestie. Um, you can get it on Beauty Bay. I think I first found it in America. Um, because Ellie Girl is an American kind of, I'd say cheaper brand, but I haven't been like I don't I can't remember price wise. But what I will say is Beauty Bay like everything's more expensive on Beauty Bay. Wet and Wild. Um, now I think everything's just getting more expensive in general. But what I will say is like. I remember buying Wet n Wild and it was like a pound, like a dollar for a single eyeshadow. And I don't know how much it is now. I'm sure it's like maybe like two or three, but I feel like on Beauty Bay it's quite expensive. I could be wrong, don't hold me to that. Because I can't quite remember. Um, and then I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. Just to kind of keep them in place. And let me see what we'll use today for eyes. I'm going to do highlight too, but I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. I feel like I want to use one of these other mini ones that I got from Colourpop. But actually, do you know what? No, I'm going to use one of the regular ones I got from Colourpop. Not a mini. Let's use going coconuts. So, I hauled this a while ago. I've heard that it's absolutely amazing. And I just haven't used it yet. Maybe I've used it a tiny bit. Because I can see where I've like dipped a brush in. So maybe I have used it. But I'm going to use it now. So this is what it looks like. It's in the plastic packaging. Which I like. But I understand why they use the um, cardboard packaging more often now. Because I understand it's like better for the environment etc. And they're trying to be a bit more eco-friendly. So I'm just trying to find a brush. So this is the Smith 232. This is quite an expensive brush. Jamie Genevieve is the one who talked, not talked me into it because I don't know her. I'm going to use that little light kind of cream shade first. Um, Sorry, Jamie Genevieve is the one who used this brush and then I went, oh, need that. And I really like it. I'm genuinely considering buying another one because when it's not clean and when I've got it on for like getting washed and stuff like that, it stresses me out. And then I'm going to grab Coolada, which is that one there. It's already on my brush. It's a cool tone brown. I'm just going to throw that in the crease. It's more for like definition than anything else. You know. I think this is my first sit down video I'm filming on my new phone, actually. I got the iPhone 13. I had the 11. Um, I didn't get the Pro, I just got the regular because for how much I film on it, like it's fine. And I didn't want to spend that extra a month. So I already, my monthly price already went up because I went from the 11 to the 13. Um, even though it's not the Pro, which kind of annoyed me. And I didn't want to pay an upfront cost. So. That's what I did. I went from the 11 to the 13. I paid a bit. I'm paying a bit extra a month. But that was like my max. And I kind of said when I went for it that like, right, okay, if I get it for this price a month, I'll get it. 
If not, I'm not doing it. And I was going to wait. Like, I was happy to wait because it was... Um, it was a while before my actual... Co well, my contract was... I could I could upgrade, but my contract wasn't finished. I'm grabbing this Cocoa Crush colour. It looks kind of like this. And a bit of setting spray. Um, so I could have waited, absolutely, and got maybe a better deal. But my phone was starting to be really annoying, like, battery-wise. Um, and really kind of, like, not charging or charging, but... Like, charging fine, but, like, a charge being done within, like, a couple hours. Which, like, that's insane. That's the one thing that actually really annoys me about Apple products in general. Is, like, they say to you, like, you get them and you want to use them all the time because you're normal. And nowadays, using your phone constantly is a regular thing. So I scratched my eyebrows. I'm just, like, going over that with my that sponge. Because I didn't put any powder there, so it's not really going to, like, mess it up or anything. Um, but, yeah, that's something that, in general, just really annoys me. These phones they make, and then within two years, you have to get a new one because your battery is shot and you can't use it, which <sighs> is a rant for another day. Okay, I'm going to use the MAC. No, I'm not going to use that because I've used a ton. I'm going to use the Vive. Highlight in Bijou, that is by Jamie Genevieve, it's her brand, and I'm going to use a Peaches and Cream PC17 brush. I'm just going to dip it in, dippy dip. Now, this one is definitely, like, more for my skin tone than the other one of hers that I have. But I'm going to put the other one on top because I feel like those light ones, like, they don't show up the way I want them to. And that's nothing against her products. It's literally just because I want a highlight that I can see from space. So this is Holy Chic, which is like the medium one. Let's see. And I'm just going to put it on top. There we go. Now, part of that is my lighting, you know. But I would definitely say I'm normally overly highlighted than under highlighted. Okay, I'm going to grab this Jaclyn Hill. Actually, this Morphe Jaclyn Hill. I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use this Peaches and Cream one, PC22, and I'm going to grab that warm Shell Yeah brown. Kind of looks like that. It's like a burgundy brown. Not a burgundy, like an orangey brown. Terracotta, I feel like, is the colour. And I'm putting that on my lower lash line. On both sides and it always gets on my eye and then i'm going to grab this this is a morphe jeffree star brush it's the js9 now it's a good brush so i'm gonna grab that dark brown just like that and i'm just gonna throw it in the crease to just kind of darken up and you can see the difference between the eyes like that one's just slightly darker so i need to figure out my lighting in here a bit too because you can't really tell sometimes with my with my right eye um, how it looks because the window is there. So that's like shining in. So what I need to kind of do is like, I think, I don't know actually what I need to do. Any tips, let me know. I think I probably really need to face like the window to film, but actually it's just not feasible in this room and the way the room is laid out. So I don't know. Sometimes it's easier actually for me to film when there's not natural light. So maybe I'm better to like shut those blinds and film with my fake artificial light. Okay, I'm gonna grab an eyeliner. But my eyeliner's been kind of annoying recently and some of them have been like sticking to me. Which stresses me out like that. Let me see. There's several in here. You know what it is? All of my super favourite ones are like done. I'm gonna grab this Jessie's Girl one. Um, my absolute favourite eyeliner is quite is from the drugstore and it is the L'Oreal um, like super slim. It's like a felt pen. This Jessie's Girl one is a brush tip. Which is fine. Like I feel like they feel the exact same. But 
well, they don't feel the exact same. What I mean is like I, they look, they end up looking the same for me. So, I normally kind of interchange like either way, but I would have like, I prefer that one. Or like Maybelline does a version of it, but the L'Oreal one's always been really good. But this, even though it's like really black and going on quite black, I'm feeling the longer that I'm like using it, it's like drier and it's taking like several attempts to get like a wing and stuff like that. So I feel like this is maybe one that could be decluttered. I'm going to start filming those either today or Thursday because James is in nursery still on Mondays and Thursdays. You know I'm off work because it's just my days to get stuff done. So like today I've dropped them off at nursery, I've came home, I've done two washings, I've cleaned the kitchen um, a bit, I've had a bit of something to eat, like a brunch. Oh that eyeliner on that side is starting to look crazy so we're going to stop. Um, so we're going to stop and then I add more. Um, but yeah, so... If he was in full time, I obviously wouldn't put him in full time when I'm off, but because he's only in part time, I'm happy with him going in a couple of days. And he ended up not going in on Thursday, even though he was supposed to because of everything that happened with his hand. Um, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I have a vlog a couple of weeks ago at this point, it'll be, um, or like last week. And it's that we had to take him to the hospital because Paul cut his nails and it was a, it was a shame. Paul cut his nail and it cut a bit of the skin and he bled for a long time. So we had to take him to any. Um, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes because I'm going to use this number 17 mascara that I think when I got it I said that it reminded me of the one that I originally had do you know what it doesn't it reminds me of a natural collection one that I like but I wish they would bring it back man they had this mascara by 17 and it was like a plastic bristle brush and it was amazing it was amazing for people with eyelashes like me that are little short stubby eyelashes that you don't want to see and don't want to go anywhere it was amazing yeah this is like the natural collection one which do i have to do a comparison i don't think i do it with that i think i got rid of it mm. but it's like the same shape i mean the natural collection one was good so I'm fine with like having it and fine with using it, but it's not what I thought it was when I was originally getting it. That for lower lashes is good. Oh, that feels really nice on my lower lashes, by the way. It's good for my upper too, but like lower lashes, oh my goodness, that is insane. I feel like that gave them like definition without being too crazy. But yeah. By the way, natural to me is always going to mean one guy liner. So see if you're like coming here to watch a natural makeup tutorial, makeup, like get ready with me's, not tutorials. <laughs> get ready with me's and you expect not to see winged liner, you are wrong. Because I love winged liner. And so it is very rare that I don't use it. I'm going to use this Bare Minerals. Um, it's their liquid lipsticks. I can't remember what it's called. This is Slay. And it's like a cool one pink but like enough color that does something there we go oh I'm quite happy with that by the way so this is as much makeup as you're gonna see today thank you so much for watching make sure you comment like and subscribe and we'll see you soon bye guys